So here, this is a 16 inch E39 wheel that is the spare tire of my blue car. So we'll start with reading tire sizing. Now, most of you guys, if you watch this channel, I'm sure you know how to read tire sizes. But to recap for most of you guys, so this tire here, this is, it says here the sizing 22555R16. Now, what does that mean? So 225 here, it means the width of this tire in millimeters. 55 here refers to the thickness of this sidewall. So this is 55% of 225 millimeters. And of course, the third number, 16, refers to the diameter of the wheel. And finally, this last combination here, 95W. 95 here refers to the load rating of the tire. So the higher this number, the heavier the load that this tire can carry. And W here refers to the speed rating, meaning the highest speed which this tire can travel in. So when you're buying new tires for your car, assuming you want to stick back to the same size, it's important to ensure that not only you get the correct size, but also to get the correct speed rating of the tire to go with the performance of your car. Now, other numbers to take note on the tire is that if, as, you, as you look through the tire, there will be a four digit number that tells you the year of manufacture of the tire. So here, this says, the, uh, the number here in this one, it says 3900. It means this tire was made on the 39th week of year 2000. Wow, this tire is as old as Rachel. Now, what about sizing of your wheels? So, most of the time when we talk about wheel sizing, we always say 16 inches, 17 inches, 18 inches. That, of course, refers to the diameter and we also know over the years that uh, wheel sizes have grown progressively large. Imagine during the time of this E39, 16 inches were considered normal size for this car. But today, it's, well, a, a, five, a standard 5 series, even at 17, look rather small. This uh, factory recommended size of 22555R16 for the E39 back then has now become a rare size today, which is why for both my E39s, I've went up to 17 inches because quite simply getting the correct tires for this wheel size is become difficult and costly and also the selection of tires are quite frankly not as appealing. Okay, so wheel sizing. Uh, so besides the diameter of the rim, the width of the rim is just as important and and just as wheel sizes increase according to inches, 16 inch, 17 inch, 18 inch and so on, so does the width and width increases in half inch increments. So it starts from 5.5 to 6, 6.5, 7, 7.5 and so on. And you need to refer to charts because the width of the rim determines the, the size of tire that should go into. So this wheel, for example, is 7 inches wide and according to the guide, you can fit anywhere between 195 to 225 uh, section tires. But always refer to your tire shop and uh, they will be able to advise you what's the best tire size that fits with that wheel. But always, as I would say, when you want to choose to buy new tires or new wheels, it is best to stick with the factory recommended size. Most cars these days anyways, come with a range of sizes. So if you want to upsize, it's best to still stick within what the factory recommends and you won't go wrong with that. The other important number to consider when you want to, when you're looking at wheels is the offset. Now, what is offset? So you see here, this face is where the wheel is mounted to the hub, all right? And Offset is basically the distance between this face and the center line of the wheel. Now, a positive offset number denotes that this plate, this face is closer towards the outer edge of the wheel. Whereas a negative offset means that this face is towards the inner side of the wheel. So what are the implications of a positive versus a negative offset? So as, the wheel, as this face 
is moves closer and closer towards the outer edge of the wheel, it means that when this is mounted into the car, this wheel gradually sinks into the body of the car. So choosing the correct offset when you buy your wheels is extremely important. Too far out, you will have your tires rubbing against the fender. Too in, and your spokes will be interfering with the brakes. The inner part of your wheels and tires will interfere with your suspension components. Now, the other important parameter to take note of when you do your wheel shopping is the PCD, which is basically the diameter of this circle that traces the line of the wheel nuts. So, the E39 here, for example, is, has what we call 5 by 120 PCD. It means 5 wheel nuts. And the diameter of this circle is 100 and 20 millimeters so getting the correct pcd ensures that the the wheel would fit into your car now the last parameter and one that i learned actually after buying these cars is the center ball now here's an interesting story the e39 is the only bmw model that has a 74.1 millimeter center ball whereas all other bmw models have 72.6 millimeter center balls the implication of it is that this hole here okay 74.1 millimeters in the e39 so the e39 cannot take wheels from an e60 e90 or whatever other bmw models without you machining this center ball first and that's not something that personally I would recommend doing so e39 owners usually has have a bit more of a headache when it comes when rim shopping compared to that of other BMW models so e39 wheels can fit into other BMW models but other but the wheels from other BMW models can't fit into the e39 Okay guys, so that concludes this brief little video talking about the sizing of wheels and tires for your car. Remember to choose the correct size next time when you go wheel and tire shopping, alright? Best to always stick with the factory recommended sizes even if you want to go aftermarket. Um, remember, every time when you upsize your wheels, makes, makes the car look more chantic but there's always a trade-off. You will sacrifice a bit of acceleration, fuel consumption as well as ride comfort. But at the end of the day, choice is yours. Just remember to make an informed decision. Your tires are your only contact patches with the road. They are, after the driver, the next most important safety feature on your car. Okay, so anyways, guys, as is the saying of the times, take care, stay safe. I'll see you for the next video.